So, how's everyone doing on their New Year's resolutions? Oh, really? Hmm. That's too bad. Yes, it's very common to start off with so much promise, but as time goes by, you just can't help but to slip back into your old habits. Even us gamers as evolved as we are still have those certain tricks that most of us can't shake off. It doesn't matter if you identify as a casual or a hardcore player, we all fall into these habits at one time or another. So without further ado, let's take a closer look at some of the compulsive habits in gaming and understand why we subconsciously repeat these traits. Spending hours on character creation. So you have all of these tools at your disposal to make a wacky playable character. Do you want them to resemble one of your favorite fictional characters? Do you want them to 100% fit your likeness? Do you want to make sure you have the perfect jawline, eyebrows, and hair color even though your character's face is under a helmet for 90% of the game? Hey, some gamers can really get into this customization shtick. These are the same people who when you play D&D tend to spend up to two hours working on their character sheet while you and the rest of the gang are busting out matches in Super Smash Bros. And good luck actually starting these games if you use mods. Hoarding ammunition and items. Why, you filthy little pig. Every chest you see has to be opened. Every item that's dropped needs to be collected. Every shop gets bought out so that you can max stock your inventory. Yep, sounds like the common case of a gaming hoarder to me. Now, for single player campaigns, this is understandable. After all, the quest is much more satisfying when you fully utilize all the tools at your disposal. It's during the multiplayer and online sessions that this pill can be a bit too much to swallow. You know the one, that schmuck that hogs all the health, power-ups, gold, and you son of a bitch. Restarting checkpoints to get the perfect run. Gamers these days don't know how good they got it. See, back in my day, gamers were compelled to get the high score or perform a no-damage run, so every time they'd goof up, they'd restart and have to try again. They had to get up and press that restart button, and only had three lives or it was back to the title screen. Uphill, through five feet of snow, in January. There was a point I was trying to make here. Or, if they're really sneaky, they could fire up an emulator and abuse those save states. But that's cheating, isn't it? Now, gamers are pushed even further with a need to achieve a no-kill, no-alert, S-rank, knick-knack, paddywhack, give a dog about- Sorry, lost my train of thought there. For games like Super Meat Boy and Rayman Legends seemingly encourage this behavior, getting rid of the live system and replacing it with auto checkpoints littered throughout the levels, giving you all the tries you need to perfect that one tricky obstacle. Just make sure you don't drive your roommates crazy from looping the music over and over and over again. Perpetual one more try. Ah yes, the belief that the next try is the winner. Dark Souls likes to abuse this mentality. Many games push you to your limits, and no matter how many hours you've cranked in or how late into the next morning you've been playing, you always tell yourself, the next one is it, I can feel it, I will be triumph- Oh, oh, oh. This is different from restarting checkpoints because it's less about trying to get that perfect run and more about trying to accomplish that specific goal or obstacle you set your mind to. I'll give you a great example. Ghosts and Goblins for NES. You move around a little bit, slaying the undead and ah shit. Okay, I died. I can do better though. Hey, hey, I made it past the damn it. All right, stop fooling around. Time to beat this level. Ha ha, shit. This is the first level. I can do better than this. Come on, I just need to fuck. I need to fuck. Indeed, that is the compulsive disorder of every biological male. Oh, come on, my shorts. Okay, I'm feeling like this one's the money. Nope. Aha, I made it! Now I just got the boss to be, and damn it! Shit! Really? A tu Brute? I'm telling you, this one is it. This one. Not a word. Ah, <laughs> finally! It only took me to. Holy shit, it's Monday. This video was due yesterday. I gotta get going. Holy shit! Obsessive reloading. So many assholes, so few bullets. Unless you're playing Call of Duty multiplayer and just spilling these puppies like Skittles, who the hell stimulates this economy anyways? I think I know the science behind this one. Remember when you played those light gun arcade games and you only had four to five shots and you had to reload and the game would scold you when you were out? Okay, I got it, I got it. Heard you the first time. Stop yelling at me. <laughs> you're so mean. You don't know how difficult it is. You don't know my life. <laughs> But seriously, I guarantee those moments are engraved in our brain to the point where we are almost programmed to obsessively reload in the heat of battle. 100% Games Achievements and trophies, you have created a monster. 
Nowadays, you can't just beat the game. No, 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 no. You have to complete it. Grab all the gear, collect all the thingamajiggies, defeat all the secret bosses, check off all the objectives on the list, get all the trophies, and literally leave no stone unturned. Don't believe me? Check out a little fellow called the Completionist. This guy, Gerard Khalil Dragonrider, 100% the games he plays, and it's staggering to see him exploit all the content in these games. You could almost say that he alone brought forth this mighty trend of those who wish to clear out their backlog. Speaking of backlog, there's a website called The Backloggery that keeps track of all the games you own, have beaten, and have completed. How nice. Yes, these are all compulsive habits that we gamers can't help but itch every chance we get. Which ones did we forget? Let us know down in the comments. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm off to complete level two. Ah, now this isn't so bad. I'm getting the heck. Ah!